Hello, my name is Randy Dobson, and I will be your instructor for this Introduction to AutoCAD class at Houston Community College uh, for the Spring 2018 semester. And this video is going to kind of show you around the classroom online. Uh, many of y'all that have never done online, it's going to be a little bit challenging at first, but trust me, you can... Uh, you'll be able to figure it out. I'm here to answer questions. If you have them, you email me whenever you, when you need it. Uh, I'm gonna kind of jump into it because it's kind of a, a long video. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to uh, the hccs.edu website. And right here, you'll go to programs and courses, and then you slide over here to HCC online, right over here and you click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and make my screen the full screen here. And then you just scroll down using your mouse and then come to Eagle Online Canvas Login. Now let me say that you have to have your login information. If you do not have that, call the IT department, uh, uh, the Information Technology Department at HCC. I believe they've got a 24-hour hotline and that person can help you know what your password and your login is. You'll select this and then it's going to ask you for your login and it's a full one like in my case it's it's my first and last name followed by hccs.edu yours may be a little different because you're a student I think yours actually says at student dot hcc uh, then go ahead and type in your password and if you want to stay signed in I'm going to go log in. Now, your screen is not going to look like this. Obviously, you're not an instructor that has all these classes. You're going to see something right here, the 7182 DFTG 1040 Intro to Computers to Computer-Aided Drafting, Class 40991. Uh, so that's the one that you're going to select on. And what I'm going to do here real quick, because I am an instructor, I want it to look like your screen. So I'm going to, you're not going to have this setting, so kind of just ignore this for a second. I'm going to go to student view. So this is what you're going to see. Obviously, you won't see this at the bottom. Uh, but here's the home. Uh, the way that this course is set up is you have to watch videos. That is the lecture part of the class. Uh, when you go to assignments, Okay, uh, make sure that this is highlighted show by type because I've got it organized. If you do it show by date, it's kind of all over the place. So make sure it says show by type. These right here with the money sign in front of them, those are the ones that are information to you. These are not assignments. These are just things I want you that you need to do when you click on order of videos to watch. Here you've got a little thing about it, and uh, these are the different videos that you're going to watch, a minimum of them. Uh, so I go back to assignments. Uh, here's uh, course instructions, and this is you know welcome to the class. We kind of kind of talk about things, uh, uh, and uh, actually this is incorrect. It didn't start the 18th, but if you see a date in there wrong, don't worry about it. Um, and this kind of just talks about the course a little bit. And again, any question you have, feel free to ask me. Okay, don't don't worry that you're asking me too many. Um, instructor information. This talks a little bit about me, how I teach. Uh, unfortunately, this is not. We don't teach Apple versions of AutoCAD, but there are options out there. If you have a Mac computer, you can run Windows AutoCAD on it. But you need to check into that. Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, very good with Mac, so I can't help you. I just know that I've had students do that before. Here's some of my experience, some personal stuff down here at the bottom. Uh, how students should progress in this course. First thing you need to do after you read all the material is watch the videos on how to do the commands. If you have a book, read that portion. Attempt the assignments. If you have trouble with the assignments, review the videos again. Uh, if you get stuck, email me. Okay. 
right here please do not attempt assignments before watching videos I can't tell you how many students I've had that have said Mr. Dobson I'm not sure how to draw a circle and I've said well did you watch the video and they're like no and I'm well, of course you don't know how to draw it you gotta watch the video on it so uh, I don't I don't, I don't want to be uh, uh, sarcastic or mean about it but you, you've got to do things in a certain order uh, I, as I say here uh, I, I, I teach, the, teach, I'm sorry, let me start over. I run my class like an office, or I'm your CAD manager. So, again, communication is a big thing. Uh, you know, just keep in touch with me uh, if you run into anything. Here is the optional textbook. Uh, I'll show you that file here in a minute uh, where you can get a textbook, an older version that will save you some money. <clears throat> Here's the assignment information. Uh, so, you know, it talks a little bit about the assignments. Each one is three points. Uh, <clears throat> you have about uh, 33 assignments to do. You don't need to do them all. It would be best if you could. Uh, but right here down at the bottom, I've got uh, ask questions. I had a student teaching at another college that a course started and after two weeks he emailed me and said I can't access the course well it, it didn't take him two weeks he put things off you cannot be a procrastinator in this course okay <clears throat> because it will come back to to bite you uh, let's see here what the next one is instructions to download AutoCAD here is your instructions to download a student version which is a full-blown version of AutoCAD that you can use on your computer for three years um, follow my instructions uh, big thing up here is make sure that you have your virus protection and your firewall settings turned off <clears throat> because that's usually the problem uh, unless you've got a computer 20 years old most current computers I say current last five years can run AutoCAD okay most of the time this they'll have their virus protection on a uh, student will and they'll think their computer's not any good and they'll go buy another one no you don't need to do that again if you have problems loading it email me before you do anything uh, this is like I said it's a student version of AutoCAD uh, it cannot be used in business it can't be used for profit so don't think that after the course is over you're gonna let a company hire you to work on AutoCAD at home uh, because you've got a version of AutoCAD that is a felony software uh, piracy and also if you send the file to a company and it says that it's a student version not only will they not use it they will also not pay you uh, because you did something illegal I let, need to make sure you understand that uh, <clears throat> so there there is the information here you'll see all the assignments they're were broken up into modules and when you submit them to me you can just email them to me uh, uh, you'll put the module 1a and the problem 1 in your uh, uh, file name but here module 1a problem 1 I'm going to just select that it just says go through the exercise of doing what it says you will not turn in anything this is just a little exercise but these assignments these names right here all tied into or go to files and if you'll see all of these files here are the assignments here's module 1a problem 1 and 2 so this file actually carries two of them so when you click on that it will show you yes I know it's upside down please don't email me and tell me to fix it because you can either print it out and turn the paper or rotate it in your PDF viewer uh, here's problem one you'll just do this exercise here's problem two you'll do that exercise uh, let's say module 2b problem 5 okay here is the assignment as it comes up and this is what you're going to draw for now you don't need to worry about dimensions or text all I want you to do is draw the objects we will progress into that dimensions but here this is module 2b problem 5 so if you go back to assignments and you come down to module 2b problem 5 it tells you oh actually I'm sorry I haven't I haven't put these up yet because I only want you to do module one right now so let me go let me go back 
I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll go Module 1C, Problem 3. In this assignment, you must pay attention to what it asks you to do. You will need to utilize dynamic input. So you need to make sure you watch a video on that. So if you haven't learned that, watch the video once you start. So Module 1C, Problem 3. I'm going to go to the files. 1C, Problem 3 is in this group. And we'll just scroll down. Here's 1, here's 2. So here is Problem 3 that you will do. It'll give you the instructions on it. Again, if you get stuck, ask questions. Okay. In this course, asking questions doesn't mean that you're dumb or stupid or don't know anything. It just means you're confused and you need direction. Okay. Uh, I, I have to emphasize that. I do not feel that it's that it's a negative. It is it is a positive. Okay. To ask questions. Uh, the syllabus I will have up uh, by the time the course comes. It really doesn't have a lot of more. It's more just the, the college information. Here is your media gallery. And this will come up here shortly. This is all the videos. Okay. And if you go through it, I think the last count right now is over 40 videos. What I do is I teach you the each command. And then you need to decide how you're going to use it. Okay, it's just if you take an auto mechanic, uh, when he goes to work or she goes to work on a car, they open a drawer up and they pull out the tool that they need. They have to decide which tool they're going to use. Uh, and of course, the more tools you have, the more options you have. So that's why the more of these you can learn and be comfortable with, uh, the better off you'll be uh, in the AutoCAD world. Uh, also in this course I will be giving you information on how to interview, uh, things to do, what not to do, uh, some, some suggestions on how to look for a job. Uh, unfortunately we don't have any kind of job uh, placement, uh, but I do have one uh, out in Tomball, a company that does hire my students from time to time. Um, and so of course here is, uh, well, looking for it but I can't uh, I can't see it let's see we got discussions I'm not sure why email though I'm sorry here's emails over here this is your email over here in your inbox uh, I'm in student view so I can't see it so this kind of gives you a rundown of the course uh, and again, I'm going to be sending this to you in a link to YouTube. You're going to watch it on YouTube. I have a lot of videos on YouTube, but you're going to be watching them uh, within, within this course right here <clears throat> by going to Media Gallery. Okay, so uh, again, if you get stuck anywhere, let me know. If you have problems Saturday downloading AutoCAD, do not email me next Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, we can't go back in time unless you've got a DeLorean that'll go 88 miles an hour and we can go back in time. Uh, I can't help you. So because these courses are very fast paced, whenever you run into some issue, just let me know so I can try to work with you uh, the best that I can. Uh, again, ask questions and uh, welcome to the course. Uh, I believe you'll enjoy it. Uh, don't get too frustrated. I know you you will uh, get get a little frustrated, but don't worry. If you stick with it, ask questions, I will uh, teach you AutoCAD. And that concludes this video. Thank you.